and welcome everyone. We are in Grand League uh, playoff stage. I'm here with Welsh guy. Hello there. And it's the very first uh, game of this uh, playoff. Uh, it's Cockrew against Vaxi. Uh, both guys uh, did pretty well in their group. I guess everyone who is playing in playoffs did well, so <laughs> no sense in saying something like that. Uh, we are playing Morning Glory, Canyon and Pix in Space, and what are your thoughts, Welsh guy? Uh, it seems very interesting with the lineups, uh, especially Cockrew not taking a medic in the first round, uh, first match, or first game even. Hmm. So it's going to be very interesting on what Vuxy will stack with on the medic. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. He picked medic on Canyon, uh, and with 30 seconds, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how it will play out, but probably he will go for jetpack strategy or something like that. But Morning Glory, a very important map, and it got the problem when Medic is not able to get to other Medic on 30 seconds. But right mm. now, Vaxi can tranquilize pretty much everyone. And he got yeah. first turn. Oh. oh! Make sure pigs are off, voices are off, and we're off. <laughs> yeah, we are good to go. So, what do you think about participants? Uh, how far can they go? I said such? it'd be uh, interesting to see how... Uh, I said the people from my group uh, do Vuxi and Ezrak, both very strong players in my group. Yes, indeed. I said I've played with uh, Rue before, he's uh, quite decent at this game as well, when we've done uh, casual games. And he gets trank on the sapper, which will be the skip turn, and he's got the stack up nice. Yeah, I liked uh, both of the guys. Uh, Ru is uh, huge on preparation side of uh, playing Hawks. Uh, Vaxi is also a very decent player, so it would be interesting to see how this best of three will play out. Oh, it's uh, not the best solution, I guess. <laughs> Just can't seem to get that hot on the mountain. That's cut into a lot of his time, especially now being 30 second turns. Yeah, and I'm kind of not sure why he's doing that, like, going to the left for the heavy machine gun would be good, but it is what it is, let's see, that bazooka shot. What do you get it off? Oh, and he doesn't get it off. Yeah, playoff uh, mental side is uh, a huge factor in who will win, who will lose. Hmm. Ooh. So we will see if uh, Grenadier is more powerful than having a medic. Both can play, both can uh, aid their teams. Let's see. Oh, slightly bad, but yeah. still a damage. Decent amount of damage, just didn't get the knockback that you wanted. It's something like 60 plus, so... Yeah, I guess it's a good decision by Vaxi. Paratrooper is so close to that Grenadier, you can immediately start uh, dropping jetpacks and such. I'm just worried that his picks are so close together that Scout can just punish him. But yeah, the stacking very close is not going to be good for him. Mm, okay. Ru can just demolish that paratrooper with jetpacks, water is so close. Mm, it's always bad standing close to enemy paratrooper. But he chose, look at that, S uh, slippery tiles really helps him. Yeah, these slippery tiles are not playing well to the shortened time. Okay, just a bazooka. Can you get the nice yeah. reap shot into the water? No. Oh, side. <laughs> ah, I just missed. Yeah, not not close, but good attempt, I guess. Uh, the... I think. Yeah, go ahead. I uh, say so hit the solid damage with the bazooka. That's the main thing. Yeah. Um, especially when he, um, his grandeur will be out very soon. Uh, he needs that uh, damage from somewhere, so every shot counts. I think we need to mention that uh, guys played on the 45 second timer and right now it's uh, playoff stage, uh, 30 seconds, so they got how much, like 30% uh, less timer. And we are back, we fixed uh, some network issue and guys are pretty much ready to start. 
That's get it. Yeah, it was a luck spike, but you know, we are hosting uh, players from UK and Australia. Go, yes, go. The fact that I would have been surprised if we didn't have any connection issues. <laughs> oh, that, that's true. <laughs> so far, it's uh, kind of decent still. I'm not seeing moves that were in impacted by um, disconnect, just I guess. Uh, player morale can be affected somehow, but you know, everything for the viewers. Yeah. Ooh, tough shot. Let's mm. see. If we can get this over the hill. I think it's a good decision, uh, but it can bite you if you will fail. Yes. Oh, lovely. And it's huge disadvantage for Vaxi. His uh, main priority and his main advantage, I would say, uh, was his, uh, you know, uh, his medic. Uh, connection. I think it's too early to make a turn skip for Grenadier. It can be prevented. Yeah. Just right now. Yeah, because if the med can come and take his turn and heal. Yes. Or uh, even... No, not mad, but uh, I mean poison prevention, like that. Yeah. It can be even a double poison. Yeah, too early from Vaxi. And it kind of derails his uh, game. But still, Grenadier is out of the game. At least something. I think the... you got no time to heal. <laughs> no. I said you got the kill off, but as I said, it was. Oh, wait, it... he can heal. Because you got, uh, like, there is no difference who you uh, can tranquilize, paratrooper or engineer. Or even scout. Mm. Yeah, you're not binded to uh, some peak position. Okay. Can we get the tranquilizer off? See what we on the para. Para or scout, yeah. Nice. I kind of feel that uh, Ru got more advantage in this game right now. Like, Engineer is free, Engineer can get a heavy machine gun, and um, Medic is on timer pretty much. Mm. And also Ru got mines right now. Okay, he's not getting it, but still. Oof. Needs to make the heavy machine gun. Can he get the double hit? Uh, it seems like a friendly fire, but we will see. It can work. Okay, Ooh. very clean, very clean. That was a pretty perfect shot by Ru then. For Vaxi, this guy got three jetpacks. He should just try drowning uh, either engineer or... Uh, or scout, like he need to waste his arsenal. Okay, half turn wasted. Place in the mines. You know, I, I really think this paratrooper will die with full jetpack uh, uh, you, pack. Yeah. If he'd done, uh, say, like two drownings, uh, two swims, we probably would have got the kill. I think he could have combined uh, getting mine with releasing a jetpack. My room misses his turn. I think a combination of factors is playing in uh, favor of Ru. His uh, Grandir is on different island of enemy medic and he was able to deal damage. Uh, and also, yeah, that poison, uh, first of all, uh, poison that prevented a skip turn, and then poison on medic, it's huge factors in him probably winning this map. He got an advantage right now. Yeah, definitely taking that medic out as soon as possible will hope will assumedly turn the tide towards uh, Rue winning. Yeah. I'm... Kind of clueless if uh, Medic will survive this round, like, if he will get another turn. 
Wait, he's not focusing medic. Interesting. Go for the cafe kill. I guess, I guess. Uh, minus uh, three jetpacks, uh, always good. Interesting to see uh, what will happen with that mine crate. I said, take out a paratrooper to stop a uh, uh, jetpack stacking. Yeah, yeah. Vaxi is relying on poisons. Uh, I guess it's a good idea when enemy got no medic. But uh, Ru poison game is much better. Look at that. He is poisoning every single pick. Uh, and those guys got no access to medic. Medic is far away and he will probably die in next turn or something like that. I mean next round. That's very close. Oh no. Close but uh, still clean. This guy should run to the island with medic. He should like use whole timer to just get there. Otherwise he will be poisoned and there will be no end to it. Probably even use water to, you know, swim across, but he is not doing it. Oh no, like, do whatever, but don't do <laughs> shotgun. It's always a mistake, I guess. Yeah, 15. 15 damage only. Yeah, I guess Ru is taking first game, because uh, I'm not seeing anything from Vaxi right now, and... Uh, Ru is punishing with collecting crates and such. Yeah, why not? Why not? Take on the medic. Tatra damage. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, maybe a shot. Uh? I'm not sure I like it, but... So it's 50 times. And it's got a couple of turns left. You can probably tranquilize and then uh, explode your medic with some other peak. Use it as, uh, I don't know, 20 damage <laughs> in further game. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> situation is very dire for uh, Vaxi. He needed to relocate his peaks closer to medic, so medic would be effective. But nothing was done. So probably... I don't know. I don't know how to come back in this game. So medic is down the count. And also, a huge problem is paratroopers locked there. Because uh, your seeding of uh, damage is uh, 40. And... Uh, 40 is usually not enough to come back in the game, but probably instant kill. Yeah. Nice. It, uh, this instant kill uh, was present, I think, even in uh, some, I don't know, prehistoric campaign runs. Like, it's pretty famous one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was most like the best move actually we do try and hit into the instant kill area <laughs> try and turn the game back into his advantage yeah it looked very clean but i kind of doubt it was uh planned i think he was just going for damage but uh you know luck is always involved either i don't know mortar clipping a shrapnel whatever like luck is a huge part of competitive in any game especially in hawks I said you could be the most skilled player, and I said if your shots miss, and or that's also true. if uh, you get an uh, out of bound killed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Mm, we will see if uh, out of bound skill will decide the fate of the of this uh, map of this match. Yeah. I would say overall, uh, but. Uh, turn management by Vaxi, like he tried to skip uh, Grenadier too early and now Medic uh, was not used as mean to like deal damage or just prevent turn skip. It's yeah. all details, but yeah, you know, it counts. 
I was going to say, uh, Rue's team was definitely a counterplay to uh, the st to uh, Vuxy's. Vuxy still kind of get more HP, but uh, everyone is poisoned and uh, skip turns will, will roll. Mm. I think <laughs> Vuxy even, uh, he should think about uh, killing scouts, so Rue will not just hide somewhere far away. Interesting match, to be honest. I said, Vuxy's not dead and out yet. Yes. Oh, no war damage. Just, Just do more team. damage overall. Like, his approach should be. Oh, I, I would not cross, uh, to be honest. Like, you need to stay far away from your enemy since everyone is poisoned. Oh, it can, it can be a mistake from Ru. It can... It can honestly be a mistake. Especially with the 30 seconds, it's not yeah. really much time to react. Exactly. Ah, oh, greedy. Maybe not greedy, maybe inputs, because uh, he's playing on Parsec. Uh, like, Off he's me. playing on Parsec, playing on Dark Station at play, so... Um, so he can connect to uh, Vaxi and play this match. Now, uh, what Rooney really needs to do now is maximize as much damage as he can. I would say Try. just escaping would be good. <laughs> Try and get skip turns. Hmm. And look at that. Vaxi can either prevent it or he can just ignore it. And uh, I don't... I'm not sure that... You can deal for HP uh, next turn, because Ru will have turn with Engineer who hide on that island. So, you can leave that Engineer alone and he can have a turn later. But, okay. Yeah, but with the skip prevention. I would honestly leave this Engineer alive. Because look at that, let's see how much you need to run to Engineer position. Like, almost whole turn. Okay, he wasted like one or two seconds. Yeah, and right now he would need to do like four head jumps in 15 seconds. I'm not sure it, it's easy. So yeah, mm -hmm. kind of wasted opportunity, but still. Issue is Rue is stacking a lot of pigs to get close to Eva. And we can finally see that HP uh, balance is shifting towards Ru, like, first he got strategic advantage, now it turning into HP advantage, uh, which is huge. I think Vaxi got like one or two turns left. Yeah, uh, this, so he, mm -hmm. this got 47 damage, and he bazooka shot oh. for Yeah, you really need to be clean if you want to uh, play yeah. further into Grand League playoff. But yeah, I guess Rui is taking map 1 without uh, medic. Yeah, he uh, spent his, uh, let's say, Grenadier quota on that one, but still. And he also got a skip turn. So yeah, pretty confident from Rui. Uh, I would say... He got multiple good decisions. Yeah. P probably except from, you know, flying this paratrooper. But that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. And this will take it. Game one for Rue. Yes, exactly. Mm. With no, and no medic expended as well, which is giving him a very good advantage on Kanya now. And on Pigs in Space. Yeah, we will see how he will use uh, Medic on Canyon. It can be effective, it can be a total disaster. Nothing is over so far. So, we are switching to Canyon and we will see. Playoff is still on. We are back for map 2, uh, which is Canyon. Uh, it's me, Raven, with me, Welsh guy. Miley? Yeah, and... Uh, Playoff is uh, steam rolling. <laughs> we got uh, first map with Ru taking it home. Right now it's Canyon. Both players got 
pretty interesting lineup like uh, Force Medic for Ru or First Grenadier for Vaxi. Lots of gunners. Uh, yeah, we will see. Canyon is very difficult map to learn, to play, to get a point there. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, Canyon definitely favors more of a long ranged approach. Uh, yeah, but uh, all that high difference and uh, distance play on 30 seconds, this map is uh, is great. There it is. Attempt number 7 gave us uh, Ru as player 1. Who is starting the canyon? I guess he will go for some uh, prepare shot or something like that. Uh, no idea what is his strategy. Voices off. Mm, he could honestly aim for Grenadier and meanwhile Vaxi should uh, aim for uh, Medic, of course. Yeah. Take out the high priority units. Wow, decent shot. Nice. With the slide down, he gets the side on the Grenadier. Very nice. It can ruin all plans for Vaxi. Shot like that. Yeah, like incredible. Right now, Vaxi need to, I guess, invade and uh, deal damage to Medic. Or no, he's getting back to his side. But he's going to be using a lot of his time to climb up back up the mountain now. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a good call. Like, you need to be more elastic, I would say, with uh, your decisions. You, you can actually, yeah, you can actually throw the grenade like that and it will reach. Uh, but I'm not sure if he needs another step. Nice. 45. Not the best, but decent. Solid damage. We'll see how hard uh, Ru was training with this mortar game. It's interesting that he's pre-placing Gunner on the spot where Jetpack will arrive. I thought he uh, was aiming for Medic to get that crate, but we'll see. Maybe it will be a late invasion, maybe no invasion at all. As I said, Ruse definitely favoring the long-range play right now. Hmm. Until Vaxi really needs to make an attack and move to get over to the other side to get that Medic taken down as soon as possible. It's kind of interesting, he was focusing Grenadier first turn, and now he completely abandoned it. Oh, very difficult shot. Let's see. It's definitely not full power, so... Hmm. Can be decent, let's see. Can be decent. Slightly off. Yeah, a bit too far. And you know, probably it was kind of decent shot if you are not counting height difference. But with all those heals, uh, everything is changing for players. It was a good idea to go for medic, and he should probably continue doing it without getting. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> Big no, no. Why not shrapnel? Like, same damage, but you can be lucky and uh, deal extra. No idea. But, okay, if he feels safe with that weapon, like... Who am I to judge? Just go for it. If you can make the consistent damage... Yeah, of course. Cause especially with a shrapnel grenade, it's very temperamental on whether it does the extra damage or not. Also on Canyon, uh, damage is a huge issue. I think average damage on that map is much lower than if you compare it to others. Uh, seems okay, but uh, don't ask me. <laughs> seems okay. Uh, ooh, a bit closer this time. The issue for Medic is still... Yeah, he can heal, uh, and he will probably tranquilize Grandir, so... Medic is effective, Medic is not influenced by the map, so... Uh, Ru got an advantage of his lineup. Yeah, definitely being able to keep this Medic for the... His first Medic for game two. Yeah. Just uh, giving him a, such more of an advantage. Yes. 
and I would say, like, I think Vaxi picked his grenadier to throw a, like, a grenade from the spawn, and uh, he got lucky spawn of medic there, like, grenadier could have hit yep. enemy medic, but mm, he was not lucky. He was thrown down, he got not enough time, and his strategy was ruined by pretty much turn order. Yeah. Archer. My heart bleeds a little when he is not going for mortar. Great. I don't know. <laughs> Even if you're not planning to use it, just collect it. Yeah, collect it to prevent uh, from being collected from the opponent. I think right now we can honestly say that. Uh... Oh, wait. If uh, Ru will not kill Grenadier, uh, Baxi can get an advantage. He got. Uh, engineer very close to his uh, guy, and wow. Ru is shot. Ru is even checking for blimp, which is very cool feature. Uh, very cool feature for a player. Yeah, because that blimp can get in the way if you're not careful, especially yep. with uh, paratroopers jetpacking straight into it. Machetina lost his title. Uh, uh, his title attempt. Uh, when he was not checking blimp on the canyon, so blimp is definitely a factor. It's being so high up, you very all your shots are very close to the blimp. Uh, <laughs> such a strange turn. Like he got grenadier who got no targets close to him, and when your enemy bringing you engineer, you're just <laughs> body blocking him. Not a great, not a great plan. We get that shot off. Beautiful. Nice. With four damage. I got no idea how he will reach anyone with that HP. Like, Engineer was his uh, best option and he body blocked him. Yeah, it's the strongest pig that he has on his squad. I guess it should still be. Uh, focus on engineer, but uh, like this cluster, because high explosive will definitely deal much self damage. I don't know. In yeah. this best of three, I see that Vaxi may make uh, decisions that uh, like they're good in uh, in terms of here and now, but he's not thinking about future. Yeah. Two head jumps and he can skip. Uh, engineer is taking turn before medic, so. Yeah, and I need to say, Ru so far is better than average with his mortars. Which is great he on Canyon. He's always hit decent damage, he's never. Overshot or undershot significantly. Yeah, look at that. Like 45 is very good damage on Canyon with all that uh, high difference and such. Uh, I guess he got how much? Like one more turn before Engineer. So you should not rush right now. You can, obviously, but it's up to you. He can start doing head jumps now. But yeah. he needs uh, to escape this position near Engineer, otherwise Ru will just deal double damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, too much. Yeah. Uh, He's kinda shot. doing a skip turn, but meanwhile he is skipping his own turn, so... Oh wait, Engineer is now, so... I was wrong, yeah, it was good, um, good call from Vaxi. I'm not sure how good, cause Engineer was, even if he will, uh, he would take a turn, he got like 2 HP left and it would be very hard to get to someone. Yeah, he'd probably go for like the sacrifice play. 
Yeah. To, to avoid the skip turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, huge problem. For Vaxi, this map, not enough time. And I think it's... Uh... Is it full power, though? Oh. Yeah, that was a very panic shot. I think it's because of Ru. Like, he's kinda creating those situations where Vaxi need to run a lot. And he needs to, like, waste uh, lots of time. So yeah. I guess... Yeah. <laughs> it's all because of him. And also he's doing th that crazy damage turn after turn. Yeah, Ru is very very good at hitting his long range shots. So it's just playing an advantage for Ru now. Yeah, it's either a good day for him or uh, like very good training session beforehand. Look at that. 30 and probably something else? No, but still. If awesome. you compare it to Vuxi. Yeah, Vuxi really needs to make an aggressive play here. Tenyon can create that feeling uh, of being kinda caged, kinda binded. You don't want to move, uh, you feel uh, uh, limited in your actions, something like that. Vaxi need to overcome it, or otherwise Ru will continue with those good shots and stomp yeah. him. Decent. Ru is being very effective long range, so Vaxi needs to start making sort of aggressive plays, forcing Ru to make changes, because if Ru's just going to stick here, yeah, make exactly. his long range plays... Honestly, he could have even tried uh, invading and bunching those peaks because they are very close to each other and uh, gunners are not great option to deal with invasion so to deal with medic faster and to deal with gunners great shot yeah Vexy really needed to take one of his paratroopers over to the other side and stack Rook's pigs together honestly what can save Vaxi is poison and like poisoning double or even one target, but uh, full HP target, something like that. But you can start with poisoning medic, of course. Oh, <laughs> it can be an issue to hit target near water. Uh, it seems, I don't know. No? Exactly 44. 44 damage. Clutch play. Mm. Game is still open to discussion, but uh, judging how good Ru with Mortars and uh, Vaxi's peaks uh, got less and less uh, HP, which yeah. means they are basically they are slow, they cannot move. One's on 23, one's on 8, so yeah, they're very gonna be wasting a lot of time trying to maneuver to get into position to make a range shot. Very nice again. Yeah, like 35 is like, of course, it's uh, mm, like it's small damage compared to uh, other maps and probably better players. I don't know, but uh, at least he's uh, stable with it. He got less turns where uh, he deals like zero damage. So still very good play by him. Yeah, so it's the consistent hits that Ru's getting. It's definitely turning an advantage for him. And you can see Vaxi's. Ooh. I don't know if you can call it panicking, but it's close to that. Like, he got no idea what to do. He's trying to run, but he got not enough time. Like, there is mortar you can use, for example. But when you are playing on Canyon and you your shots are not good, like. It's getting into you. 41, good one. Gee. Yeah. Ru has definitely done his practice on those mortar shots. <laughs> yeah. It seems so. As I said, this map definitely favours the long range attacks. And if you can clutch your long range attacks, 
Oh, look at that. Three peaks full HP. Nice looks, you can get some good damage here. Only 28. Uh... It's kind of funny that his best damage, like turns with his best damage, uh, they're less than uh, uh, bad turns of Rue. Now, can Rue get that shot off? Will it slide? Yeah, that's a skill. He had 28 and he done 29. Yeah, I got no idea what he can do. Honestly, invasion and uh, bunching up. It can be a good trick. That's his only strategy now. Okay, let's see. You need to do something to win. If you will just stand there, Ru will just hit the mortars. As he did. Also, uh, throwing picks down can be a huge uh, part of success. Even body blocking is fine. I honestly don't feel like uh, Vaxi can clutch it, so he needs to prove me wrong. Because, Ooh. like... <laughs> yeah, his he power didn't... play was hitting Medic, you remember that? <laughs> he didn't want that pig to go be going this time. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, okay, he's using it as a body block, which is... Um, I don't think it's kind of good idea. What can help Vaxi is invading with Scout and making a double poison, if he will have enough HP. Right now, let's see... No, precise. Shot. Probably he is out of the game. Yes. Grenadier is still alive, but <laughs> you know. Yeah. Not gonna make any... As I said, you have to make a long range shot now. I think Vaxi was so focused on... Um, throwing grenade from his side that he uh like when something got wrong very first turn when he got thrown down uh he kind of was not aware what to do like invading changing his plans and invading hitting medic with uh shower uh, with a cluster was not in his mind even Oof. yeah That's seems like a close lucky. shot At that point there, you could have possibly let the grenade roll back down the hill. So, I guess it's kind of anticlimactic for a playoff match to be like that. We are basically waiting for it to end. But it can happen, you know. Canyon is uh, probably most mental map we got. And yeah. We can see one player is completely broken by power of Canyon. Yes, fortunately, the tide of the match goes to the person who gets long range shots, and right now that's Rue. Yeah. As I said, with the lesson time as well, it's not given enough time to think and react and plan a move out. Yeah, you know, on Canyon, you. Need to constantly make different shots. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. That's gonna drop off. Do not limit your damage to 20. Just hit anyone else. So yeah, uh, on Canyon you constantly need to change your plans to shoot from uh, like different spots and it takes a lot of uh, thought process. Uh, I guess it's uh, it can be very tiresome to do it constantly. To sink, sink, sink. Yeah, that's not the shot looks you want, dude. Yeah, like good damage, but yeah, we understand that he wanted it to throw pick down. Probably for Vaxi, he can consider blimp hunting on his side just to, I don't know, get a powerful weapon, something like that. If the blimp will be on uh, 
on covered side with no climb. I guess he can even collect it. Oh wait, oh, wow. grenadier shot. That was a first shot rule, just missed then. Closer, closer, closer. One more step, okay. It can work. Uh, but aiming is kinda off. Mm, I think it's still a kill. No. Watch B plus no sliders. If he had the slide, it would have been 4 damage and possibly to him. But it's still 62 damage, which is uh, <laughs> huge in, uh, in terms of how... How much damage uh, Vaxi deals on average? I would not say it's boring canyon, but uh, you know, one player is very defensive because of uh, his lineup, another is uh, too scared to do an anything offensive. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we're just waiting for it to end. Yeah. As I said, the consistency that Rue was able to hit his long range shots really let weaken the effectiveness of Vuxi's team here. Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, you probably need like one, two training before the match, like one <laughs> day before match and one on the day of the match, and you can actually hit those targets consistent. And also morale is huge factor, because uh, Vaxi lost his first map, uh, having first turn, medic advantage. It can be heavy on morale. Vaxi being on the back foot here, being 1-0 down is forcing him to make moves that he shouldn't really be making. <laughs> okay, he's hitting bazooka to 4 HP gunner. It's uh, a blast. To watch this game. <laughs> oh, okay. He just nearly missed the shot then. Even a machine gun, like, would be better. Could have prod pinched him off. <laughs> Would have been fine. Something like that. Uh, decisions, damage, decisions. Yeah. Two frame four hits done. Yeah. Okay, please, do it. <laughs> do it! Yeah, it was um, uh, a performance by Vaxi this year. Uh, I think it's f his first uh, Grand League, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, overall, like, uh, decent player. Uh, if he will play through the year, improve himself, uh, I think he got a good shot on Middle League spot. For the Rue, I guess... Uh, Welcome to semi-final, and yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah he'll face either, uh, I'm actually not sure who, probably winner of, uh, let me see. I, I believe... Varco Borealis, yeah? He's I been... believe so, yeah. We are not aware of the result, so we will see who will be Ru opponent, he is taking it 2-0. And GG overall, GG to Ru, GG to Vaxi. Yeah, what I could say to Vaxi is get some practice on those long range shots, the mortars, the bazookas. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And well, work on the morale, I guess. Uh, lots of situations could have been solved with uh, more rapid decisions, you know. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and let's see another match.